I'm the winner of the eighth Max Mara Art Prize for Women. Max Mara Art Prize for Women which is a biannual prize which gives an artist six months residency in Italy, an exhibition at the Whitechapel Gallery and an exhibition here at Collezioni Maramonti. During my residency in Reggio Emilia, I learned knitting with machines. I worked with a digital knitwear company to develop the surfaces of my three-dimensional work. And I researched sustainable recycled silk for my paintings. In Sicily, I stayed on Mount Etna at a permaculture site, and I learned about the principles of permaculture and I visited ancient sites like the Temple of Hercules in Agrigento. And in Rome, I focused on the story of Hercules, how Hercules has been represented over time, and how his story has been adapted in different eras so that I could replace him with my female protagonist. The exhibition is titled The Age because it refers to the age of the protagonist in my work, which is an elderly woman, and it asks about how this elderly woman might construct a sustainable future, a viable future, and draw on her knowledge as a, as a person with uh, potential and power. The elderly figure was inspired by uh, a figure in the Gustav Klimt painting called Three Ages of Woman. He was interested in the way that the elderly figure stood naked with her head in her hands as if she was in a state of shame. And I wanted to take her as a, a kind of unlikely hero who would be a survivor in the future and I wanted to make her into someone who had a lot of agency and potential. And I wanted her to be an unlikely hero in a story of survival and building a sustainable future. The narrative is about an elderly woman learning how to interact with nature how to use ancient knowledge as a resource to build a viable. But it's also about how power is constructed and used. So there's a balance between the 12 principles of permaculture, which inform the way that the woman would relate to nature and inform the way she would think about constructing a future. It's balanced with 12 Trials of Hercules, which is a classical story, a hero story. And I thought that an elderly woman would think of ways of resolving the problems that we have today. And so really the story is an epic narrative which follows this woman as she tries to build a future which is based on care. It's a really hopeful way of thinking about how we can really rethink, how we're able to do things in different ways, how power could be put to different uses. So instead of power being in acts of aggression, the idea that power is in sharing and caring and being considerate. I really wanted to make an environment that you have to explore in the exhibition. You have to walk through these paintings that are like landscapes, and you have to read some of the information which explain the principles of permaculture, which explain my ideas about building a sustainable future. But it, it's a way of telling that is sharing knowledge rather than uh, dictating information. It's about sharing, sharing information, sharing an experience so that people who come and see the show 
can hopefully be interested in the stories that are being told. I think that one of the things that art can do is can tell the stories of our time. It can share what our experiences as humans really are. And in doing that, it can offer different ways of thinking. Is a way of rethinking or proposing ideas or sharing different ways of looking and different ways of thinking. And I think that is embedded in storytelling because storytelling is a way of sharing. 